Hey, what is up? Insta, Insta, YouTube, YouTube family. Hello, hello, happy Friday, everybody. I hope you guys have had an awesome week. Working on some content and things here. Hello, hello. I'm really excited to be doing a live stream with you guys. And today's chit chat topic is reasons why you are not losing weight. So I'm gonna give you guys a few moments to join the broadcast, hop chat, live chat. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Christine Heronic. I am the owner and founder of Gage World Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist, chemical engineer. Hey, Miss Congeniality, hello, hello. Happy Friday. So super stoked to be here. Please comment where you guys are from. And I wanted to talk about a couple things before we get into the chat. So the first thing is I've been making an effort. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Jawaria from New Jersey. Hey, Melissa J. You've been loving the book. I'm so glad. And if you guys are just joining, I wrote a book, Unlock Your Macro Type, and it came out. So if you have not picked up the book yet, head over to Amazon, pick it up, hardcover, audio book, ebook. Hello, hello, guys. So a couple things. So much to say. So, hey, Susan. The first random update is I've been making an effort to be more environmentally conscious. And before anyone here who's like the super environment police, please understand that I am not claiming to be a tree hugger by any means. But... I was getting really frustrated because you guys know I'm always preaching about drinking water and drinking water is a big priority of mine, but I've just been buying like gallons of water. And yes, you guys, please pick up the book, Amazon, unlock your macro type. I'll talk about this in a little bit. And I was just having so much waste. So I finally got this water delivery service where I get like the five gallon jugs delivered to me. And I'm, I've been refilling this bottle like five times a day. So this is like 24 ounces doing this five times a day. And it's been game changing. And I know it's not like the end all be all. I know there's a lot more I can be doing, but it's like one little step in like a good direction for me anyway. And I just feel better about it because I had so much trash. Does anyone here drink out of plastic bottles? Like my plastic bottle like consumption was just like, insane so I stopped um anyway today's topic for those of you guys who are here is why you aren't losing weight now I'm gonna talk about the counterintuitive reasons why you aren't losing weight because so many people come to me saying that Christine I eat clean I eat healthy why am I not losing weight and there's a lot of reasons why you're not losing weight but the, I'd say probably the biggest one is that you're not actually in a caloric deficit. Even if you are eating organic, the cleanest, healthiest foods on the planet, you are not going to lose weight unless you're in a caloric deficit. So that's like first and foremost, that's a big one, friends. That is a big, 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 big one. Now, the next one is, and I've been seeing this more often, your metabolism is shot. Who here feels like their metabolism is broken? Like they're... You just feel sluggish all the time. Hey there, Terry. You can't wait for the macro challenge? Yes. And if you guys are just joining, I am doing um, a macro challenge to complement the book. Um, you you bought a water purifier. That's good. Good for you. And you since COVID. And I feel like I'm seeing this a lot, you guys. I'm seeing this a lot, a lot where people's metabolisms are just non-responsive like there's something in the water I don't know what's going on however what I've been finding is when your metabolic rate drops the natural instinct of people is to do what eat less and exercise more and if you're at the state where your metabolism is is jacked up it may be time to reset your metabolism reset your hormones and I do have a program that facilitates that, which is my hormone reset plan. But the thing is, you guys, if, if metabolically you are off, you're probably going to need to eat more food. Even if you eat 
1200 calories you can't shed you probably need to eat more and i've had so many people in my book like the case studies that i shared in my book who have found that they've needed to eat more and it's very common who here has worked with me and w was shocked by the amount of food i had on your meal plan when you first started or you were shocked by how much actual food that your macros translated to in real life. Does that apply to anybody? Anyone here shocked when they saw and felt and experienced how much food they really should have been eating? Because it's a game changer when you really see how much you should be eating. And here's the problem, you guys, there's a gap. The gap is this. The gap is between how you are currently eating and what your body actually needs and so many of you guys think that there is freedom in eating whatever you think there is freedom in being able to eat whatever snack on whatever drink whatever alcohol this that the other that is not freedom the real freedom that's actually chaos it's actually chaos if you're just eating whatever the real freedom comes from when you are aligned with what your body needs because when you're all, when you're when your food consumption is aligned with your body's energetic needs, your body's nutrient needs, you don't feel tired, you don't feel groggy, you feel energized, you feel wonderful, you feel amazing when that's the case. And I think that so many people are afraid of food. Does anyone here feel like the whole concept of eating more to drop body fat sounds terrifying where you're like, how on earth am I going to eat more and lose fat? Guys, it's because you need to have a healthy metabolism. If your metabolic rate is so low that your body is, isn't is able to, doesn't is not taking in enough calories to sustain lean muscle mass, you're not going to part with fat. You will not part with fat. You need enough calories for your body to keep that muscle tissue metabolically active it's scary and you feel guilty and and the thing is you guys it's okay to acknowledge this simple fact you need to establish your new normal this is a lifestyle change you guys the principles in this book this is not a quick fix i am not i, I am not in the business of quick fix approaches i am in the business of giving you the tools to support you down a journey of self-discovery towards a healthy and sustainable lifestyle because that is where the magic happens. That's when the light goes off. And that's what you guys truly need to be successful in the long term. So my point, my friends, is good morning, Poetry Girl. Is that you, Dorian? Um, my point is this. A lot of you need to establish your new normal. Your new normal is not the BS, eat all the things. It's not the other end of the BS where you're on this managed starvation. So <laughs> you need to establish your new normal. And what does your new normal mean? Your new normal means you are making health. Oh, thank you so much, Cecilia. And for everybody who is enjoying the book, I am going to ask if you guys would be so kind to please leave me a review on Amazon. It helps me so much. Um, it really lets other people know, you know, about the, the value and quality in this book. So please, friends, um, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, please leave a review on Amazon. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and if you haven't picked it up already, like, I don't know what you're waiting for. Just get over there right now. Um, so back to what I was saying, you need to establish your new normal. Your new normal means, hey, I'm going to make better choices now. I'm going to live healthier. This doesn't mean that you you stop looking at you stop looking at it like these short term projects, and instead you start looking at it as you know what, I want to elevate my quality of life. You, and thank you, Cecilia. You start looking at it as, I want to feel good. I don't want to feel like crap. I don't want to feel tired. I don't want to talk about, um, a mu for muscle gaining, Carla, uh, macro type number one. Macro type number one is the best one for muscle gain. 
Um, so I don't want you guys to feel like you're in this box, right? I don't want you guys to feel that healthy living is a constrictive box where you have to weigh and measure everything for the rest of your life. Those parameters, those guidelines, those, you know, weighing a portion, it's to help you guys. And I think the best analogy I can give you guys is this. Imagine driving somewhere. Imagine driving somewhere and there were zero stop signs, zero stop lights, zero speed limits. Like, guys, when you drive, you have to check the speed of your car so that way you can go with the flow of traffic and that it's safe. If there were no road signs and there were no lanes, it would be complete and utter chaos when it comes to mass transport. Yet when it comes to our bodies and our nutrition, you guys, gauging and measuring how much you eat of what foods is no different than having a speed limit. It's no different than having a stop sign. It's no different than yielding before you like merge onto traffic. It's no different than having a certain lane. It's no different. And we have to stop looking at portion control. We have to stop looking at weighing food. We have to stop looking at healthy choices as this weird, unsustainable, boring thing. Like the magic is in health, you guys. The rest of that stuff, that's chaos. Like who wants to feel brain fog and bloated? Like if you guys, honestly, if you let yourself binge, let's just say you allowed yourself to binge for the next seven days, meaning nothing is off limits, not a thing, and you just went in. Anything you wanted, anything you could imagine, money was no object and just had a fest of gluttony like pizza pasta chips soda ice cream dessert alcohol like snack you name it whatever you want is and is excess whatever you want guys can you imagine how terrible that would make you feel like it sounds good on paper you guys it sounds good on paper but like it, you're honestly going to feel like crap. And my point being is we have to establish our new normal. We have to establish our new normal. And I want you guys to depart from the thinking that you, you should just eat whatever and stop caring. I need you guys to depart from the thinking that also says I need to starve to death. Neither are true. They are extremes. They are irrational thoughts. You need to land in a place that says, okay, what does my body need? And how am I gonna make sure I do that? And guys, why wouldn't you wanna do that? Why wouldn't you want to optimally fuel your body? I think that we need to get back to the why. And the why is to live a higher quality of life. The why is to feel healthy. The why is to think clearly. The why is to have stable moods. The why is to have good skin. The why is to have a good sex drive. The why is to think clearly, to have energy, to live your life and to be in a good mood. Like, so that way you can do the things that you love. So with that being said, my friends, if you're watching this and you're struggling to lose weight, another reason may be because you are not eating for your macro type. Your macro type is a whole new concept. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, macro type is a new concept that I am presenting to you guys. And that is this. Your macro type helps you gauge the most appropriate way to fuel your body. The most appropriate way to fuel your body. Mary says she gains weight to looks like and gives me a weird face. So comments about somebody's weight and stating that somebody has gaining weight is, is probably, you know, a little on the rude side. And you know, that's not welcome here. So if you're gonna call me out for gaining weight, which I actually haven't, you know, you can keep your rude comments to yourself off of my platform. And 
for too long, I don't call trolls out. I usually just block it and keep it moving, but I'm not gonna stand for rude behavior on this channel. So with that being said, you guys, I think it's very important to acknowledge I think it's very important to acknowledge, one second, friends. I think it's very important to acknowledge the fact that if you are not experiencing progress, it's most likely because you are not aligned for your macro type. And with that being said, what does that mean? I'm gonna give you guys a perfect example. I have had some clients who have been on the low carb end of the spectrum for too long. They may have been in the keto paleo world. I think that there are some folks who have been on the lower carb, higher fat spectrum. And for the reasons that have nothing to do with insulin resistance, it has nothing to do with type two diabetes, nothing to do with hormone imbalances, but are just eating a certain way because they are doing so. And the reality is some people actually have a much higher carb tolerance than they realize. And sometimes some people just go arbitrarily low carb because they have no concept of where they should be eating. Because a lot of people think that carbs are bad. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is this, is that there's a spectrum with regards to your carb tolerance and understanding your carb tolerance level is actually going to be a very useful tool in allowing you to lose weight. So with that being said, my friends, if you are not losing weight, you may want to understand your carb tolerance level a little bit better. Your carb tolerance level is something that helps you understand your glucose metabolism. Now your glucose metabolism is how easily your body can take carbohydrates and functionally use it as energy. So if you are on the end of the spectrum where you have type two diabetes, you have some hormone imbalances, you may have a thyroid disorder, you may have um, PCOS, you may have a lot of issues in that realm. It is a little bit better to go lower carb when your body is not able to be optimal at using glucose as a fuel source. So that's definitely, you know, one thing there. Now on the other end of the spectrum, we have the hard gainers. We have the folks with very, very high metabolism. And I think that it is very um, challenging for some folks to gain weight. Um, and if you're on that end of the spectrum, you're probably gonna need to eat a lot more. So fine tuning and nailing down your carb tolerance level is going to be key to making sure you're seeing progress. So if anybody watching this not sure of their carb tolerance level, like you think that you can handle carbs, but you're not sure how much, perhaps you have been very low carb and you wanna to try to reintroduce carbs, or perhaps you feel off eating carbs, but you don't know how low you should go or what that should look like, if this is you, if this is you, I do encourage you to pick up the book, Unlock Your Macro Type, and I do invite you personally to join the Macro Typing Challenge. Enrollment is now open. It's only $99 to join. It's $125 if you didn't get the book, and that includes the price of the book. Um, but if you already have the book, the price is only $99. And it's going to give us the opportunity to help you figure out your macro type. We're gonna help you figure out your macros. We're gonna give you a macro adjustment and we're gonna give you workouts. Um, so with that being said, you guys, knowing what your carb tolerance level is very essential to helping metabolize body fat. And I do wanna talk about that for a moment here and just talk about the nature of some of the questions so that way you guys can understand what things impact your carb tolerance level. So one factor which is very important is your waist measurement 
along with your waist to hip ratio because these two values are actually utilized by the World Health Organization, the WHO, and they are very effective gauges of a, with the correlation between visceral fat and a lot of diseases such as a lot of metabolic diseases. So what your waist measurement is, if you are a female, the main number you really need to be concerned with is 35 inches. So if your waist is at or over 35 inches, you are at risk for these metabolic diseases, heart disease, high cholesterol, stroke, type 2 diabetes. That's definitely an important factor and it does impact your carb tolerance level. Um, where you tend to gain weight, um, whether or not these things run in your family, type 2 diabetes, diabetes, insulin resistance, um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, hypothyroidism, obesity, high cholesterol, um, when you eat starchy carbs, how long before you feel hungry again, how your digestive system responds after you eat starchy carbs, um, have you, if you've been diagnosed with specific gut health issues, how starchy carbs impact your cognitive energy, how carbs impact your physical energy. Um, if you have a hard time controlling starchy carb and or refined carb intake, um, the symptoms you experience between meals, what best describes your sugar cravings, do you feel like you must eat before exercising? Do you feel you need to carry food and snacks with you because you are afraid you will get hungry? Um, do you still eat a very clean diet with modest portions of carbs and you're still not able to lose weight? Um, and do you experience specific hormonal issues, the degree of difficulty you have when trying to lose weight, and food intolerance? So that's like just a big overview of the types of factors that go into determining your carb tolerance score. So if you're watching this and you don't, you don't know that, it's a really important variable that you can learn um, very, very quickly to figure out how you should be eating. So I'm going to invite you guys to do two things at this point. Uh, number one is I'm going to invite you to order my book, Unlock Your Macro Type. You guys can order it on Amazon. Um, it's available in hardcover, ebook, audiobook. It's also available Target, Walmart, Barnes and Noble, Books A Million, Apple Books, Kindle, anywhere books are sold. Um, I am also inviting you guys to join my macro typing challenge. Macro typing challenge starts on April 4th and enrollment ends this Wednesday. So make sure you sign up. There is a wonderful prize. We're doing $1,000 in cash for first prize. Um, we are doing $200 for second prize and $100 for third prize. So there are cash incentives for the top finishers. We are expecting a really nice turnout. It's going to be really good accountability. You get a live Q&A with me every Wednesday night. You get community support. You get workouts and so much more, you guys. So may I answer any other questions at this time? The floor is open for questions. And I know there were other questions that were on there while I was talking. Questions, questions. If you've enjoyed this live broadcast, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps me out here. But anyone have a question about your macro type, about the challenge, about the book, anything, please let me know. Happy to help. All right, guys, if there are no other questions, I'm going to sign off, but I want you guys to have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, don't forget to head over to my supplement page, gagelife.com, to stock up on your collagen peptides, your protein, as well as your hormone reset. I have my Indole 3 Carbonyl, and I have my vegan probiotic. I keep that in the fridge. Um, so don't forget to stock up on your supplements on gagelife.com. So take care, everybody. Peace out. Thanks for joining.